Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is May 25th, 2024. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. First up, let's talk about a new player in the tablet market. Daylight Computer, founded by Anjan Kata, has introduced a tablet designed specifically for productivity and focus. Unlike the entertainment-centric iPad, this device features an e-ink screen and a matte monochrome display, making it perfect for reading and writing. With 8 gigabytes of memory, 128 gigabytes of storage, and an 8-core chip, it's built for efficiency. Notably, it lacks a camera, but offers Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Running on a version of Android, it provides access to the Android app ecosystem. The design and functionality have been praised, especially for reading and note-taking. However, Daylight Computer faces significant challenges in the competitive hardware market. Next, Apple is planning some changes for the system settings app in the upcoming macOS 15. The app, which was redesigned in macOS Ventura to resemble the iPhone and iPad settings app, received backlash. In macOS 15, settings will be reorganized based on priority and importance, with general settings moving closer to key network settings. While the overall design will remain similar, the goal is to make settings more intuitive and easier to find. These updates will be revealed at WWDC, and it will be interesting to see how users respond. In the world of music, Apple Music has released its list of the 10 greatest albums of all time. Topping the list is Lauryn Hill's 1998 album, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. The list also features iconic albums from artists like Michael Jackson, The Beatles, Prince, Frank Ocean, Stevie Wonder, Kendrick Lamar, Amy Winehouse, Nirvana, and Beyonce. The selection process involved Apple Music's editorial team and external voters, including artists and producers. Each album was evaluated based on its impact and musical quality, showcasing a diverse range of genres and eras. Now, let's address a recent issue with iOS. Apple released iOS 17.5.1 to fix a bug that caused old photos which had been deleted to resurface on devices. This bug was due to a database corruption issue and was not related to iCloud photos. Apple clarified that the photos were retained on local device storage and were not synced to the cloud after deletion. Users reported photos resurfacing on different devices due to restoring from a backup or direct transfers. Apple assured that the issue was rare and only affected a small number of users. They also emphasized that they do not access users' photos or videos. Affected users need to manually delete the reappeared photos in the Photos app, as iOS 17.5.1 does not automatically re-delete them. Lastly, let's talk about Avare, a travel journal app designed for explorers. Avare allows users to document their trips with stunning photos, notes, and maps. It offers personalized journal entries, seamless sharing options, and offline access to content. The app prioritizes user privacy by ensuring data security and providing an ad-free experience. Users can also engage with a community of travelers to share tips and stories. Built with Swift UI, Avari's user-friendly interface makes journaling simple and enjoyable. Avari Premium offers exclusive features such as unlimited locations, lists, notes, all icons, early feature access, and developer support. To start capturing travel memories, users can download Avari from the App Store. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on Apple technology, software, and devices. Stay productive and stay curious.